There we go. Wait, you have the seasides. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're a genius. Let's go. Let's get it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, no, that's perfect. That is literally perfect. Let's do it, man. I, I want to hear these, and I can't believe that you just happen to have them ready to go for me, dude. You're, you're, you're a real one. I appreciate that. All right. First one is uh, quite like me. Let's get it. WCNR for sure. This song is kind of giving knots too. Exactly what I do when it's done today. They ask me how I knew I'm the one. I looked in the mirror, it's clear, I guess. Became exactly who I knew I'd become. Saying that it's just a fluke, are you dumb? I said I have nothing to prove to anyone by now, but it's nothing new under the sun. Okay, okay. I just got one straight out of my drawer. Look at how one they part of my drawer. I write ones with a W like some Korean money, but I got a thousand times more. So they'll save me right down to my core. They don't hate me by now, I'm just bored. I'm on the same since 2004. I don't even really know how to count anymore. Uh, I'm at a level you can't quantify. I ain't even rapped in a year, and I'm still under year and rapped on your motherfucking Spotify. How the fuck? He said he even rapped in a year, but he's on your fucking rap for Spotify? Man, spitting. And he ain't lying. Bitch, I blew up in my cringe era. Bitch, I blew up in my mid era. He blew up in his cringe era, blew up in his mid era. Oh my god. I'm on a new match sincerity. Do a joke, you've been parody. Don't hit me till you're in therapy. And you know what? Everything that I post nuts has some real clarity. Ah, I'm sorry. You'll never get bored of me, not yet. I'm back and I'm already on next. Wrote a song they perform in a contest. Lily songs and recording in context. You got an inferiority complex. When I finished recording this project, your girl sent you a horribly long text. <laughs> yeah. Better read yeah. that shit. Three dots showing you delete that shit. New essay sitting underneath that shit. I'm in no way sitting on the beat that shit. I'm back. Fuck all your feedback. You be trying to tweet at me. Play back to career. From the backseat, always trying to grab me and steer. Can't pass me. I'm here running laps. Not one soul train like me. Playing backseat in the mirror. I'm sitting on masterpieces like wait a few months. Now I'm back with Pierre. Been gone for like half of a year. Now I'm back in the clear. Now I'm back in the lead. Don't drop the ball. Just pass it to me. Check the scoreboard. I'm happy to see. Your shit is artificially hard. It's all fucking Viagra to me. Fall off the charts. Niagara to me. Damn. Wow, so like that first half is absolutely chaotic. He's just straight up talking his shit and he's kind of all over the place. But yeah, you said you mentioned like, uh huh. I was definitely thinking some of that like voice memos from me to you, like candles on fire style rapping. But the delivery is good here. Let's keep it going, dude. There's like a whole second half where it looks like he's going to switch up big time. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, exactly. Cause there's nobody doing it quite like me. Cause there's nobody doing it quite like me. Let me know when you're doing it quite like me. I'll convince it that they discuss. Get surprised when they say this surprise. They can't cope so they rational ass. I don't want my just capital eyes. If I wrote it, I actual eyes. What you wrote was just actual life. I can't even feel bad for these guys. I can't even feel bad. Cause there's nobody doing it quite like me. seriously don't know what sound he is going to do for vanisher i was guessing that it was going to be songs much more like in the bag of easier and stuff but like every little thing that drops from him in this kind of like mid period is really just throwing it could be anything it could be literally fucking anything um so i'm just gonna have to wait and see <laughs> Yeah, those 
Zeit. cleaning people's whole entire discography. What's going on here? Song is kind of giving me a very similar feeling to Guess Who. Let's get three light, one, two, three on me, on me, on me. Okay, I feel like I'm on re back in 2003. I'm invincible for this season. I'm invincible for no reason. I might, uh, I might, I might, I might. I might uh. One, two, three on me. I need everyone's eyes on the count of three, like one, two, three on me. I need everyone's eyes on the count of three, like one, two, three on me. On me, on me. I need, I need everyone's eyes on the count of three, like one, two, three on me. I need everyone's eyes on the count of three, like one, two, three on me. I need everyone's eyes on the count of three, like one, two, three on me. On me, on me. You'll have to kill him yourself. So, I'm still figuring out my feelings on this one. Check what you left on the shelf. I like this You'll little have transition. To kill him yourself. If you want him gone, it'll take a lot out of me. Just say what you did was wrong. Cause it'll take a lot out on me. Just say that it's been too long. You say not mad at me, but the rest is different. Songs. Let's get acquainted with that thought of moving on. So I will say, uh, the one, two, three on me part, it was getting a little bit repetitive to me, but it was enjoyable enough to where I wasn't like getting worn down by it. But this little transition into some more like dancey territory is kind of striking me as like no wonder, because uh, after working with Sky Ferreira, I mean, it's probably going to pull some of that inspiration for his own uh, disc too. Honestly, they don't get all mad at me, mad at me, I don't want to see. Honestly, get Quedeca in a room with Eric DOA. We need hyper pop Eric Fly. I try to tell you, it's still one year and not the other. I try to tell you, it's been one year without each other. I try to tell you, it's still one year and not the other. I try to tell you, it's been one year without each other. Fuck what no, was left 100%. on the shelf You probably said it yourself so. And everybody can tell You should have killed him yourself That so, so. So. Me too. If you want him gone it take a lot out of me Just say what you did was wrong Cause you take a lot out on me Just say that it's been too long That you say you're not mad at me But the rest is different song You're still acquainted with the thought of holding on
yeah, so after finishing that song, uh, I will not, I will not lie, I'm feeling about an 8 on it. I know you've got it at a 10 CNR, and I can respect that, I think I see the appeal to it. The intro is ultimately what's just having me take a little bit off of it, because, like I said, it was a little bit repetitive, but once you got out of On Me and into The Shelf, oh yeah, yeah, we're in... If it was just The Shelf, I probably would have given that a 10, but everyone's got different takes, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, It's a fucking two! No. You got no. no part of what I've done. Sound like a window taking credit for the sun. I was I just thinking the, low I vey in my head. What I want. Let me set the record straight before it's ever spun. Got no influence and it's clear. I got influence, you'll just take it once it's here. They think I'm bullshitting, I'll see you in a year. You watch it all appear, I'm in the sky, send an SMS. Mix of green and blue and tell you what it represents A dream come true, I got a headache from the FPS I like his flow on the song Who mistakes is self-obsessed with self-respect And gets upset when I consider that I'm an empty threat Crap going real, real, real like an SOS I only see a real, real one on what the chest I'm in a real, real, real Time I get a check Still in the now, someone tell him there's a second step Please or like that light little guitar in the background. Cool. Yeah, I kind of like that little stutter there. Not even kinda, I did like the stutter. Put it off to the side, put it off if I try. I could be your life, spin, I could be your life, I could be your life. The flute, or like whatever woodwind that is, is a nice addition too. And a great escalation on the back end. The sense of pacing on this song is really impeccable. It takes you places, it doesn't just drop you off there, which is real nice. Uh, before we get into the final song here, I am feeling another 9 on that last one. Uh, it took a little bit for it to fully kind of get me into it, but once... I mean, honestly, after the first 30 seconds, I was kind of into it, but once you hit that wall of kind of distortion, and then that nice little escalation in the back before that brief little liftoff, yeah, I was completely sold by it then. No, I mean, that's fair. If it's a 10 for you, it's a 10 for you, baby. I got plenty of things I call a 10 that people would highly disagree with. Oh, this is a brief one. Oh, this is giving me some chain remover feel.
Okay, I, I have a feeling that maybe the ending got cut there a little bit. Um, however, I will say that song made me feel the very same way I felt with uh, You Tried That Thing Where You're Human, but in a different style. Where you're kind of like in a limbo state for the extent of the song. And like I said at the beginning, kind of like a same feel to like a Jane Remover track. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling like an 8 out of 10 on that one. It You know, there's only so much it can do with it being so short. But like, as I'm sitting here giving scores to these, I'm like... Huh, this is weird. It's gonna average out to be about the same as Scrapyard for me. And, like, that wasn't making sense in my head, but, like, these are Scrapyard seasides. Of course it's gonna be as good as Scrapyard. What am I thinking?